sometimes a JavaScript error can cause a problem on your page. Let's see how can we find which script causes the issue, and how can we solve it. First open the uncached page. Right click, then click to inspect, and switch to console tab. We can see the error message in the console. In this case, we can also see which script caused the issue. If JavaScript error occurred on the uncached page, probably it is not related to Swift performance. In this case the problematic script belongs to Troublemaker plugin. It is a dummy plugin, we just created it to demonstrate JavaScript errors. So we are going to disable it now. Clear the cache, and check the cached page now. Open the console again, and check the errors. Now there is a different error message. Most scripts will work properly when scripts are merged, but some SERPs are not compatible with the this feature. To demonstrate it, we created the not compatible plugin, which will throw a JavaScript error only if the plugin script is merged. But unlike the previous case, we can't see which script is causing the problem. We can only see that there is a problem with the merged script. To be able to find which script causes the issue, we need to enable logging and set the log level to error. Now cache the page again. Open the console and check the source of the script. If debug log is enabled and the log level is error, Swift performance will add the file name of every scripts as a comment before the code. So we can see the problematic script belongs to not compatible plugin. So let's try to exclude it and see what happens. Regenerate the cache and check the page again. Now the original error is gone, but we got a new error. The excluded script appears to be using jQuery. To prevent errors caused by missing dependencies, it is always better to use the footer scripts feature instead of simply excluding them. So let's remove the exclude rule and add it to footer scripts. Regenerate the cache, and check it now. Finally all errors are gone. Thanks for watching.